Okay, the first tip I got for you all MB users out there is the preview button. Actually, you know, if you are in sequence, you can hit it and it's gonna play, if you hit two, it's gonna play a few seconds uh, before the current cursor position in your sequence and you hit from, it's gonna play a few seconds after the current cursor position. So basically, if I'm gonna hit two, you can see right here, I have a, on a second bar measure, so you hit two, you know, it preview the sequence a few seconds before the second measure. If you hit from, I'm gonna play from the second measure a few seconds. You see. So, basically, uh, all people are complaining that the MV doesn't have the scrolling cursor in your audio editing screen when you sample and you want to chop up the sample you and if it's a long sample usually you are having problems because you can't see where you currently are located the playing position is located at so and basically this preview button actually helps you to do this by uh, using the current cursor and by hitting the preview to and from so you can actually hear where are you currently setting the truncate points or uh, chop points whatever First of all, we go to project and hit 8, enter, and we're in the um, sample manager screen. Here's the sample. Blah, 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 it's a quite long sample, so we go to command, um, hit truncate, and move your cursor to the start point, as you can see right here. And if you play, hit preview, play from, you're gonna play a few seconds from the start of the sample if it's currently located at zero, you see? It played a few seconds from the start of the sample. If you have mouse connected, let's, let me show you how you do it with the mouse. We go to the same sample manager screen Choose the sample, hit command, truncate. Here we go. You see, I select the starting point and set it somewhere in the middle. I don't know what's the sound underneath the start point, so basically just hit preview button. It only plays from the point, but I can hit this preview button for example the two, we're gonna play a few seconds before the starting point and then I hit the preview from you can see it right this this actually helps you a lot to speed up the truncating or chopping your samples up and usually I do this like this you know the starting point because it's easy to hear with the preview button right here but the end point is where all the problems start so usually just select the end point if you are in the LCD mode you just use the value dial if you are in the full screen mode you can use the mouse place it somewhere here and you just hit the 2 button, it's gonna play a few seconds before the end point. You're here, it's a nice place to end the sample. And if I hear the from, I can hear what's the next after the end point I just set. Of course, the MV probably will never have the curse scrolling cursor, but um, using the preview button this way you can actually speed up your chopping process, truncating process quite a lot. So basically just use the preview button when you want to chop your samples up and it will help you a lot.